Good evening everybody, I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is July 11th and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. And because it is Sunday, we are having the weekend edition where we are going to look at the weekly chart of Palantir. I'm still not a financial advisor, still want you to do your own research and still want you to make your own decisions. Okay, so we close the week at $23.29 down down one dollars and fifteen cents so this equals to four point seventy one percent um don't pay attention to what uh, trading trading view is showing right here because it's saying that it's up 21 bucks uh, 21 cents but no uh, this is not right so i think uh, i think they are using some um, post market uh, stuff Anyway, so this is a down week. If we take a look at what is happening on the stock chart, we reached $27 not too long ago, uh, but then uh, we just fell uh, right through down to 24.30 during the week of June 28th. So basically we have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks, seven green weeks in a row so uh, the stock was bound to uh, take a breather uh, so basically uh, we are pulling back from 27 dollars so uh, we had one week of pullback and this is the second week of pullback so during my uh, weekly what no my daily videos i drew this resistance and basically it looks like palantir is going to head down to 21 dollars so uh Looking at the chart from a weekly perspective, I see the same thing. So I see uh, I see that we are heading that way unless we cross this big resistance. If we cross it, then there's a change in trend. Then we are going to need to reassess where the stock is uh, trending towards. But so far, right now, this is the trend. Boom. Yeah, we need to face it. We need to face it. I'm not happy. I'm not happy myself. And um, and um, seeing this uh, could have been a, an opportunity for you to get out of Palantir until it stabilizes and recovers and restarts the uh, bull trend. But that's your own decisions to make. So basically, let's take a look at um, the indicators so in terms of the stochastic stochastic is at 46.58 so stochastic went up bizarrely stochastic went up because uh, stochastic is taking in, into account uh, everything you know it's it's taking into account that there has been a little wick at the bottom of the candle and it sees that as some kind of an up sign that's fine so stochastic is at uh, 46.58, still not the 50 that we like. In terms of uh, the MACD, um, the two lines are above zero. So that's our green thumb up, but the two lines are not crossed over bullish. So that's our green thumb down. In terms of the DMI, the DMI still says that from a weekly perspective, Palantir is still in a uptrend, so uh, so that's all nice. So basically, if I summarize, we are just living a pullback from a weekly perspective, and we just need to keep our eyes peeled to see when this pullback is going to be over, and we are going to know it if the stock crosses this resistance. As simple as that, we just need to pay attention this week to see what is happening. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe, you will see all of my daily videos I do every weekday on Palantir and on Tesla. We have a trading view affiliate link. We have a Patreon account. We have a Discord server. And you can also become a member of this channel if you want to uh, entice me to continue doing these videos. So I'm going to wish you a great rest rest of the weekend. We are going to talk on Monday and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.